Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's video. So folks, uh, this is uh, the beginning of May, and last month we had for April, Brenda Lee rocking around the Christmas tree. That was our PPD sequence club member club sequence for the month. And everybody, uh, a lot of people, a significant portion have upgraded from the original to the pro layout. It's only $10 to do that when you're a club member. And uh, if you get the sequence of the month, it's only 10 bucks to upgrade. So uh, you, you do get the original layout. But what I want to show you today is how you can do an auto map uh, in X lights from one of the Pixel Pro Display sequence uh, imports into your individual display. Now this does require you to do a little bit of setup work. And so what I want to show you next is I want to show you that there's uh, a link down here. We have a we have a services link. And we're willing to do that uh, individual service for you. Um, if you would like us to, we are more than happy to either do a Pixel Pro Display group setup or we'll We'll set up uh, the groups from our sequences and put them into your layout and we'll, we'll do the best we can with what you have to match it up so that whenever you open up your sequence from Pixel Pro Displays you can just literally click a button and that's what we're going to show you today. Uh, we also offer the, the sequence mapping and if you're a club member you get uh, a discount off of these prices. They're like half price or something. So. Uh, uh, if you want us to do the work, we're happy to do the work, but we want to make it easy so if you decide to do the work, you certainly can do that. Now, keeping that in mind, you're welcome to go ahead and follow these other two videos that are on the top of the sequence page. Whenever you whenever you log into PPD and you go click on Christmas sequences or other sequences, uh, at the top of the page, you'll find these four videos. These are a walkthrough of how the pro layout is set up. So you can sit there and you can set up all your groups the exact same way that we've set up our groups. And you'll be able to take advantage of what we're about to show you next. So let's pretend that we have uh, logged in. We've we've downloaded our monthly sequence. And now it is uh, in our download folder. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And we have our download folder. Here's Brenda Lee rocking around the tree. There we go. And I have the pro layout here. And so the interesting thing about pro layout versus the original is there's a significantly larger number of models to select from. Uh, and groups and we also do some uh, submodel sequencing as well uh, so you have to if you use the pro layout and you want to take advantage of the of the uh, uh, of the individual like submodel sequencing you're going to have to build submodels in your layouts as well that's all in that video that i showed you at the top of the sequence purchase page and once we get our uh, oops, I, I minimized it and I didn't mean to do that. Downloads. Okay. Once we get the uh, Brenda Lee rocking around the tree into our download folder, I'm going to then open up my location where my X lights directory is. So here I have my new house demo. That's my new house, and there's my Brenda Lee sequence uh, or uh, MP3 for the the uh, sequence for the. Uh, song and now what I want to do is since this is the first sequence we're ever importing into our layout we want to do something so that we organize ourselves and we make it super super easy for every other time that we download and import a sequence so I'm gonna come I'm, I'm gonna you can right click and you can click on new and new folder and we're gonna rename this folder to be import and basically what your import folder is, is any sequences that you're about to import. Now, Pixel Pro Displays has sequences. So what I what I would consider doing is if I were getting sequences from Pixel Pro Displays, I would definitely create in this import folder, I would create a new folder again, and I call this Pixel Pro Displays. So now... The next, the next thing is going to be funny because I'm going to create another new folder here. And the reason why is because we want to name the sequence 
that we are putting into this folder. And there's a reason why, because you want to keep your sequences organized so that you're able to go back and refer to them rather easily. Uh, if you download a number of the same uh, sequences from the same vendor, such as Pixel Pro Displays, you'll find that we use the same file structure and directory, and you'll have the same folder names, and you'll have uh, folder one, folder two, folder three. You might as well name them what you're looking for, which is uh, Brenda Lee. And I know that's a hell of a long folder name. So now, now we're finally here. Finally, finally, finally. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, from, uh, from here, we're going to click and drag our, from our downloads. We're going we're gonna to take our zip file. And next we're going to extract this. Because when we put a sequence on the website, it's a zip folder. It's compressed. So what you need to do to uncompress it or to get into the data that's inside it, double click on it. And then up here, there's this little button called Extract All. And notice how it says Pro Layout. We're going to extract this into this exact directory. So if you look at your directory tree, I'm just using my arrow key and going over here. Here is our new house demo. We have our import folder, Pixel Pro Displays. And then these are all the folders that I just made right in front of you. And now, it, the name of the sequence is Rocking Around the Christmas Tree Pro. We're going to go ahead and extract it right there. And now, if I close the extract folder, now you can see here's our import folder. Here is our Pixel Pro Displays. Here's Brenda Lee Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. Here is our compressed folder, our original one. Again, another copy of Brenda Lee rocking around the Christmas tree. And then Pro Layout. And this is where we're going to get started. And I, I understand it's a lot to go through. But it, I promise you that if you keep this organized now, it'll be so much easier in the future for you to continue doing this. And it'll keep everything much more organized. So next, we're going to physically go into the Pixel Pro Display Layout and we're going to render this sequence. Now, why would you do that? Well, sometimes we sequence using some images and video. And when we do use sequences with images and video, what we have to do is we have to render the sequence. So this, X, uh, this XML file, which I just opened on the other screen, um, <laughs> so this XML file will be linked to, oops, will be linked into uh, uh, your file structure that you've just created because all of that information would probably be in here. So here you can see I have a tree, a musical note, and some boughs, probably boughs of holly. Huh. Um, but in order to do the import and have all of our images come in to your sequence, this is a very important step. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to go into X Lights. I have a, uh, I have X Lights already open, and it's on my new house demo page. I'm going to go look at my layout, and here is a wonderful layout that I have worked on, and. We're actually going to change that. <laughs> I led up to, I led you all up to that. Now we're going to change that. So we're going to go into import. So this is the new new folder. The import Pixel Pro displays Brenda Lee, Brenda Lee, Pro layout. Once you get into the Pro layout, this or if you have the original sequence, that would be original layout. You want to select this folder, and that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about that. And we'll click Layout, and you should see the PPD layout for the Pro. You can uh, click Save here, I think, and uh, we can open. And what we can do is we can open Brenda Lee rocking around the Christmas tree, which it's in this folder. Now we don't have an MP3 for it, so let's go look for the MP3. Uh, if we go back, I have it in... Uh, my new house demo, which is there. I'll just select it. So you just go find your MP3. Now the MP3, obviously, if you if you need to know this, the MP3 is right here. If you want to go, if you download it, this is the exact MP3 that we use to create the sequence. So it should match up perfectly for you. Now next we'll click Done. And now you should be able to see the PPD layout, and you should see the... Um, 
uh, all the sequencing that we have here. And if you click render, this is important. All you have to do is click render. You don't have to watch the, the sequence. You can if you want to. Uh, I promise it's the same as the one that you saw in uh, in the uh, YouTube video for the advertisement for it. And what it's doing now is it's going through and it's rendering all the effects. And, and as, we, as we're doing that, I'm going to scroll down here to where it says Matrix at Garage. Uh, you can see some of the items haven't populated just yet. Uh, Matrix at Garage and I think the tree. Let's see. There's uh, there's the tree. Um, we're looking for video effects. There's uh, a couple really neat effects that came out of this. Really had a lot of fun with this one. A um, couple images. I know there's some images in here. I know, I know, I know. And, well, maybe I can't find them, but that's okay. There's some images in here, and uh, it's important that you're able to render the sequence. Once it's rendered, click Save. That's all. Just open the sequence, render it, save it and close file close sequence that's all you have to do so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our setup we're going to go back to your original directory back to your home directory my my new house demo for example and now we're going to physically start the import and so this is where it gets really fun and very fast and very quick because when we create a new sequence right there click that little yellow icon there we're going to create a musical sequence we're going to create Brenda Lee rocking around the Christmas tree we're going to use 20 frames per second because that's what we sequence at at PPD and then you're going to click done so uh, next I would typically I would click save and I put uh, I put the name of the singer and then the name of the song uh, that's how that's how we typically do it and we'll click save now we have a save sequence the other thing that's that might be important you don't have to do this but I, because I typically try to clean this up but you may want to right click on new timing and delete new timing uh, there are some of the older sequences where new timing is brought in and it's the default new timing whenever you have to do the import You'll see what I mean, but I think all the new sequences don't have new timing in them. I've changed them all so um, We're going to bring in all the information all that data and We're going to simply do it by looking for an XML file not in our main directory But in our import pixel pro displays Brenda Lee Brenda Lee pro layout and here is the XML, Brenda Lee rocking around the Christmas tree pro. This is the one that we just went into and we rendered and we saved it. And now we're in the mapping screen. So um, now what I haven't shown you shown you yet is the layout screen. And we'll do that afterwards. But um, the, uh, the most important thing on this screen here besides all of the models is also the timing tracks. A number of times that we use uh, different effects that require the use of those timing tracks. So if you cannot forget, you must remember to click the little checkbox beside all of these timing tracks up here and make sure that you bring them in. So now what's so exciting and special about the PPD Pro layout and the, the, the auto map button. If, pro, if PPD sets up your um, map your your import screen for you what we'll do is we'll create all of our groups for you and uh, once the groups are created it's literally a couple clicks of a button now there's a couple things obviously that that may not map and we'll go through that in a second but we have this button here called auto map and now what I've already done in the past is I've already created a uh, uh, a, a set of groups that match the PPD layout and would match your layout. Uh, but you can, again, do this on your own. Now, the here's the beauty of this. All we're going to do is click the auto map button right now. Bam. And what it's done is it's taken everything over on the right hand side of the screen and pulled it over and auto mapped it to what's on the left hand side of the screen. Now, you'll notice that uh, a lot of these are groups and that's true. Uh, I didn't auto map anything to uh, to the individual props, and the reason is because auto map works on a name by name basis. So 
all of these names here match identically with these names specifically over here. Now don't worry, don't worry at all if you don't see anything here under the map to column for a specific prop. If it says all display here and this is a this is a standard PPD layout, um, then and you come over here and you realize, oh, there is no all display that we're pulling in. Sometimes you may auto map and things may be empty and that's okay. Now there's other times, such as right now, where we have these angels. Now the angels in this display happen to be AC or standard uh, alternating current angels. They're regular mini incandescent lights and they're running off of an AC standard controller. And so the there really isn't in the Pixel Pro display layout, there's no angels in our layout. However, there are things that are like the angels and there's a bunch of angels in a line there. So what if we map the arches right onto the angels? So I'm gonna go and grab the arches and I'm just gonna pull them down here to the angels. Now the other thing that Pixel Pro displays doesn't have in its layout is a Boscoyo Studios eight foot snowflake. So that's this big guy over here. And you notice there's no sequencing on him either. What could we possibly use that this layout hasn't used over here? Well, I can tell you right away. There's this matrix from our garage on the layout. Let's go ahead and drag him over there. And I think that'll do a very fantastic job. That's a massive snowflake. I think there's 600 pixels on there. I think it's going to be a matrix enough for us to be able to, to run, some, uh, run some effects over top of it. So uh, there's some other things too. Um, one of the things that uh, also uh, I did was the mega tree. Now you may call yours pixel tree, and if that's the case, mega tree won't match up with your pixel tree. So you may have to come over here, click and drag the pixel tree over. Uh, maybe you don't have a mega tree star. Maybe you have a pixel tree star, and so maybe you have to come over here and click and drag that as well. Uh, if your groups aren't set up identically, the same name as ours. Now see the capital letters; they really don't matter. They map auto. auto automatically whether their cap uh, the, the upper or lower case doesn't matter so um, and, and a, a lot of this here is is pretty much ready for us to go ahead and click OK and now the next prompt you see are you sure and it's quite the question is are you sure you want to exit without saving your mapping changes for the future uh, yes, I'm sure I don't want to save because I have auto map, auto map set up on this on this uh, layout. So as soon as we click yes, bam, all our sequencing comes in, uh, and um, what we can do now is we can click that render button, and you can follow along. You can click the render screen, that green bar at the bottom, and it'll tell you what's being rendered at the moment. And as soon as this is done rendering, sometimes sometimes sequences take longer to render than others, so make sure you're patient this one took 14 seconds on my computer and uh, now we're pretty much ready to uh, view kind of a demo of uh, the sequence to see whoops that's not it that's the wrong layout <laughs> let's grab the other one it should be whoop. I grabbed the wrong layout there we go <laughs> here we go And now we're nice and big. Let's go ahead and click the play button. So it looks like we have a pretty good uh, one for one bring in. You'll notice that the angels aren't doing anything at the moment. They will pop in and out because if you use the color white on the arches, you'll notice that they do work pretty well. And they are working now. But the reason why they're not working is because they're being activated by the physical color that's being displayed on those arches. So if it's red and green, it's not going to show. But if it's white, it will show. So it kind of adds a different flavor. It adds that little bit of flair into it. And as you can see, everything did come in pretty good. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and I'm going to go into the layout, and I want to show you exactly what we've done. So I basically have taken the time to put everything together for, uh, for this layout so that it matches one for one exactly what might be in uh, my layout versus my pro layout. Uh, one of the things that you will consider 
is whenever you do your mapping, whenever you do your uh, group setups, maybe you don't have the same models that Pixel Pro Displays has. What you can consider doing is, if you have differences like snowflakes, maybe these snowflakes down here, maybe these could be your spinners. If you don't have spinners, you might as well use the spinner group on something that you do have a group of. Uh, another example is the spiral trees here. Maybe you don't have spiral trees, but maybe you have something a little bit different. You could use the sequencing on the spiral trees on that something different in your layout. So uh, again, uh, the, the angels there, those angels are awesome they they're just white and all they do is they uh, pick up the white color so if whatever you pull the sequencing off of uh, you you're also welcome to go in and you know change the sequencing color on that sequence for those angels or whatever AC prop you have you could come in here and literally change all of the colors here to white and click update now every bit of the sequencing will work with it so that's one one thing that you could do if you have AC props uh, and you want them to be on and you can do that so as we'll see here so yeah look at that they're all working there perfect perfect they look beautiful now maybe they're not going to uh, uh, work exactly the same as as the uh, pixel props do because the sequencing is done for pixels, but they will work on your AC props as well. So, folks, it's Clyde Lindsay here. I'm glad you uh, spent the time with me today. I know this is a long video; this is 20 minutes. But usually, when we're doing import mapping, we want to do it right the first time, and it's very important if you do take the time. Go to the Pixel Pro Display website. Click on uh, click on the Christmas sequences button or the sequence uh, store button at the top of the page. You have a bunch of different resources. This video will probably get added to the top of this page as well, so it's an updated version. And uh, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section. Uh, if you have any comments, leave those down there as well. Let us know what you think of the video and if it helped you out a little bit, maybe doing your own kind of thing. And as well, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. If you really love the video, make sure you hit the share button too and share it with your friends. So thank you folks. This is Clyde Lindsay from Pixel Pro Displays. We will see you in the next video.